There's one essential thing that's missing for most MCAT test takers, and it's not content, it's not strategy, and it's not using the right Anki decks. It's confidence. Confidence in themselves, the material, and how they're taking the test. But confidence can be really hard to build and develop. In this video, we're going to talk about how to build confidence for test day using what I call the confidence equation. So, what are the components that allow you to feel confident on test day? Here it is. Self-talk times skill plus planning plus execution. Let's break this down. So first off, skill. This is what you probably think of when you think of building confidence. We're talking content review, right? Having confidence in your knowledge of the material. We're talking strategy, understanding how the test works and how to apply that knowledge effectively on test day and how to approach different problems, eliminate, answer passage-based questions. All of that is wrapped up in skill in the same way that learning how to throw a baseball is also a skill. So the first step, of course, is to build your skill, to feel like you have high skill level in each of these areas. That's your content review and your active practice. But I want you to notice something about this equation. We take that skill and we multiply it by your self-talk. And self-talk, that's that internal dialogue in your head, can be positive or negative. And as we know from basic arithmetic, if you multiply a number by a negative number, you're going to get a negative number. So even if your skill is really high, even if you know all the content, if you have negative self-talk, if you're beating yourself up, second guessing yourself on test day, your confidence is going to be really low. And that's not going to help us get points when it matters. However, if you have high self-talk, if you're positive and encouraging and thinking, productively about each question, that's going to magnify your skills. So even if you have kind of iffy skills in some area, if you have good quality positive self-talk, that's going to magnify that and build up your confidence for testing. Now, in addition to that skill and the self-talk, you also have planning and execution. So planning is making sure that we have a good plan, whether that's a good study plan so that we feel confident in our study process, or a good test day plan, right? That we feel confident in our test taking skills and what we're gonna do on that big day. Plus execution, can we actually follow through on that plan? I want you to think back for a moment to the last time you walked into a test feeling super confident. Like you're like, I am gonna rock this test. I can pretty much guarantee that you felt confident because you had a study plan and you executed on that plan and you went through the whole process of learning the skill and building up your self-talk so that by the time it came to test day, you're like, I've done everything I was supposed to do. I've studied the way I set out to study. And of course, I feel confident on test day. That's what you want to feel on the MCAT too. So making sure that you have a solid plan, both for studying and for the day itself, and that you can execute on that plan, right? That you can actually do the things you set out to do every day that you can commit to a study plan and execute that plan fully, nail it, do exactly what you set out to do, that's another point towards higher confidence on test day. So now we have the pieces. We have our skill times our self-talk plus our planning and execution. I'd like you to take a moment and figure out what part of this equation is lower than we'd like it to be for your studying and your testing. Maybe part of it is skill. Maybe in the chem phys section, we don't feel like we have enough skills in the math on the MCAT and we need to work on that. Maybe in cars, we're second guessing ourselves all the time. Our self-talk is really low in the car section. We don't feel confident in our reading and it's compounding into negative self-talk. Maybe we don't have a good study plan or we're not executing on that study plan effectively. Maybe we have no idea what test day is going to be like and we don't know how to execute effectively on test day. I want you to take a note of which part of this equation is lacking and I'd like you to write in what you're going to do to improve those areas and build your confidence. On the flip side, I'd like you to take a moment and think about areas where you have high confidence on the MCAT, where you feel really strong that you will do well in that area. Again, what components are allowing you to feel that way and how can we apply that to your low confidence area? By doing this with this equation, we're not waiting for the results to give us confidence. Many of my students often say, oh, well, I feel more confident when I see my scores go up. That's great, but often we need that confidence first to get more points right to get our scores to go up. So how do we build confidence before seeing results? We use this equation. 
So go ahead and figure out what areas of this equation you need to work on most and make a note of that for your next study day. You now have the skills to build your confidence both in your study plan and on your test day. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and check out other videos like our test day game plan video and our math skills video series. I hope this video was helpful and as always, happy studying. Thank you.